Welcome to my channel Electronics on Wheels. As I told you in previous video of charging system, that we will discuss something about power distribution. First we will see how loads are divided in vehicle. Loads in vehicle are divided into three categories. First is continuous loads. Second one prolonged loads. Last and third one is intermittent loads. I will go in details about all these three loads. Coming to the alternator, alternator output should be sufficient to provide the power to each and individual load mentioned above plus to charge the battery. The intermittent loads are used infrequently so the power consumption also if I talk about some examples they are heated rear windows and seat with timer relay. Therefore factor of 0.1 is applied while calculating the power requirement. So, the consumer demand on the alternator is the sum of the constant loads, the prolonged loads and the intermittent loads with the factor applied. Continuous loads are those loads which takes the power from source once your vehicle is started. So some of the examples I have shown you like ignition, fuel injection fuel pump and instruments. Fuel pump or fuel injection are such loads which takes the power all time if your engine is running. Instrument or cluster also takes the power all the time which shows you telltale or symbol. I have shown you here power and current value at 14 volt and 28 volt for all these continuous loads. All these current values are typical approximate values. Power is equal to V multiply current. Prolonged loads are those loads where load takes power for longer time period. As you can see tail lights number plate lights headlamp. So all these loads are prolonged loads. Here also you can see total prolonged loads value is 260 watt and 19.5 is the current values. Here I have shown some of examples lights low beam high beam fog light turn signal and number plate. Intermittent loads are those loads which are used for very less duration and infrequently for example horn or indicators heater. You can see here I have mentioned some of the example of intermittent loads. Average consumption of intermittent loads using factor is 170W. All these calculation will play a very important role in load calculation to decide the alternator rating. So please check all the total values for the all three different loads. As we discussed earlier, demand on alternator is the sum of constant loads, the prolonged loads and the intermittent loads. If you add all loads values 180 plus 260 plus 170 equal to 610 watt which is 43 amps at 14 V. This load is in addition to the current required to recharge the battery. In next video, we will see the current required for battery charge and find out the value for alternator. We will see the charge balancing as well. If you like the content of this channel, please subscribe, like and comment. Thanks for your time.